Righteousness, peace, and joy. As our partner, we welcome you to today's broadcast and for taking the message of grace around the world through your support. Thanks for making a difference in the world today. Righteousness, peace, war, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Everybody sing righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Oh, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of Oh, don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Come on, come on everybody Don't you want to be a part of Oh, don't you want to be a part of Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Come on everybody We glorify the name of God for the special opportunity we have to be blessed this evening again. This is your favorite program, Kingdom Life After Coming to you from your inspirational station, Echo 89.7 FM. This program comes up from 8.05 to 8.35 every Sunday evening. My dear listener out there, God loves you, He cares for you. I want to implore you, please, make it a special duty, a special appointment with the Lord for you to tune to Echo 89.7 FM by 8.05. You're tuning in tonight, you're in your car, you tune in. It's not by accident. Program it on your phone, put a reminder for you to tune in. And great will be your testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm Jumi Adetu Yisho Lagunju, the minister on this program. I'm not alone in the studio tonight. I have with me my co-presenters. They are Sister Onyida Mola and Sister Lua Fumilayo. Sister Onyida Mola is a young adult. She's a teenager. Onyida Mola, you are welcome to the program tonight. Good evening, listener. Thank you very much. My dear listener out there, Onyida Mola is saying good evening, listener. The time she started this program with us from the age of six up the time she was 13 and as she crossed over, into the real thing she used to greet and welcome fellow children so my dear listener out there your child there no matter how young they are little they are Please draw the attention to this program. They have their counterpart, or let me say a senior counterpart, a teenager here. So, Yinda Mola, thank you for being with us on this program. You're welcome, Pastor. Thank you very much. So, my dear listeners out there, please draw the attention of your children and as to put their feet on the right path. As they are growing up, they will not deviate from you and they will continue to be for signs and wonders in Jesus' name. Amen. And you are listening tonight, you are saying you don't have your own children yet. Or you are even saying, I've been married all this year tonight in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I use the children all over listening and i use the child as a point of contact for you that the lord will make your joy to be full in the next one year even your child as a little baby will be listening to this program with you in jesus name Amen. and in your own case you are saying you have not even gotten married look at my age you are counting checking the calendar looking at the time you don't have your own wife you don't have your husband yet the lord is saying this week every obstacle every hindrances every confusion is clear completely from your path and you will have the bone of your bone and your joy will be full in Jesus name. Amen. Father, I thank you Lord for what you have done for your children out there. And you now see what I'm saying, my dear brother, my dear sister out there. You don't need to pay anything for this. Just because God loves you, what you owe God for this special blessing is to be praising him. Be thanking him for it and make it a point of duty to tune in by 8.05 every Sunday evening on the 9.7 FM. With me as well is Sister Lua from Ilayo. You are welcome to the program tonight. Good evening, listener. Thank you very much, my dear listener out there. This program is brought to you by Kingdom Light Christian Center, also known as Praise Arena. Praise Arena is situated out there in Lekki, that's VGC at Lori Hotel, where we teach each practical application of scriptural principle, Bible principles to every aspect of life. And one unique thing again is this, we bring up 
everything that has to do with application of the Bible principle to business for you to succeed. So that's why we have a special program, 45 minutes program from 9 a.m. to 9.45 every Sunday for on business and how it affects your life, everything you do and for you to succeed. And alongside as well, we bring about all this practical teaching, how to make your marriage to be great, how to make children upbringing to be easy for you and your children to continue to be for science and wonders. And not only that, as an employee out there, we look at the practical application of Bible principles for you to succeed out there and not only to succeed for you to become employers of people so please we appreciate if you can be part of our services every sunday by 9 a.m and great will be your testimonies in jesus name Amen. the entrepreneurial service ends by 9 50 and from 10 to 11 15 we have the next service which is the main service and either of these services will do you good and will be a greater blessings to you and for the entire nation as you continue to be part of our service as i said earlier on i'm jumi at this to you, shall lag with you. Heavenly Father has been using this program to bless millions of people. In one of our episodes where we taught things like this, somebody called, and after the person called, the person was able to share testimonies. You know, the testimony shared there, the person has been having certain ailments that has to do with internal organ. They've done all sorts of tests, they've carried out a lot of treatment for it. It didn't even work, nothing seemed to be working because each time. Yeah, he underwent a treatment of any form of uh, oppression. That guilt is always there. That makes him to feel unworthy. And because of that, things will reverse again. But on listening to the program, he said everything was lifted up his mind. He saw himself as being worthy before God. He saw himself as being healed has been totally cured by the time you woke up in the morning every ailment is gone what was responsible that guilt self-condemnation and satan was using it to oppress the more unfortunately the more he approached some people in the name of counseling in the church the more they load him with guilt sense of guilt because of the kind of life he had lived in the past and that's why we were able to use this opportunity to explain to him and today he has become winners of souls preaching and reaching out to people like that who felt condemned by the misconception and misinterpretation and now they have realized what christ did for them and what christ has done for you and i so in that message we look at forgiven and cleansed from all sins and there we analyze and explain the lineage of our lord jesus christ and now he had come to wipe whatever negative record we have in the past there we told us that look god does not consult your past to determine your future god looks at the past in our lord jesus christ to determine where you are going and we also explain the meaning of christ which means he that takes away sins and remove every curse whatever might have been the sins you committed in the past every blemish has been rolled away that is why he has come to what we refer to as remission of sins he has come to remove and wipe away every sins in our life. His lineage wipe away every generational curse. So if somebody is telling you you need deliverance again because of this generational curse or whatever, just remind them you have a new generation in our Lord Jesus Christ. That is the Abrahamic generation, Abrahamic blessing through our Lord Jesus Christ. And we are told in the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 about a prophecy that is to be fulfilled. Let's look at this together. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 31, from verse 31, we are going to read the first two verses and then verse 34. There you will see what God says concerning you and I and the promise that was to be fulfilled later. You can go ahead, please. Verse 31. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. My covenant which they broke, though I was a husband to them, says the Lord. Verse 34. No more shall every man teach his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they all shall know me, from the least of them to the greatest of them says the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity and their sin I will remember no more. Thank you. That was the prophecy of what is to come. Depending on the Bible you are reading, you will see a kind of star by the side that is not in block form. That shows its prophecy. Now, when you get to the book of Hebrews chapter 10, from verse 11, there we are told about the most high priest, the fulfillment of of that prophecy but before we read that part we also explain in that message on forgiving and cleanse from all our sins 
our Lord Jesus Christ being the high priest. And we explain in the book of Numbers chapter 34, where we are told about the high priest that has died. And once the high priest is dead, then every sin, every form of death is rolled away. You are now qualified. I'm qualified to come before the Father in heaven and for everything I'm believing God for to be answered. Numbers chapter 35 verse 28. There we saw about the city of refuge and how our Lord Jesus Christ as the high priest once somebody is in the city of refuge, is kept out there, no avenger can go there to avenge the blood or to kill them. As soon as the high priest that was there at that time dies, whoever is in the city of refuge, the six cities that were marked as city of refuge in the book of Joshua chapter 20 from verse 1 to 6, they are free to come out and their sins are forgiven forever. Now our Lord Jesus Christ came as the high priest and being the high priest who had died for us. Based on that, everything that has to do with our negative things, the negative things of the past, the sins of the past, they are completely rolled away. We are forgiven and never are we going to be judged, are we going to be asked or punished for what has been done. Our Lord Jesus Christ paid the price. That was what we explained there. Now, as we continue in this about that special blessing of forgiving and cleansed from all our sins, and now we continue to enjoy the blessings. My appeal to you is this, please, who do you want to believe? The confusion in the world of people that do not understand what Christ means, or you want to believe the Bible that says you are delivered and you are supposed to operate based on this consciousness. I'll be back shortly after this message. <laughs> Do you have challenges in your marriage? Is the future looking bleak as against what you had in mind before you got married? Are you concerned about your children and their future? Join us on Sunday by 9 a.m. at Praise Arena as we use practical application of Bible principles to turn every challenging situation to testimony. Venue, Praise Arena, Kingdom Light Christian Center, L'Oreal Hotel, VGC, Lekki, Lagos. You are a living proof that's a miracle is real. You are welcome back. So as I was saying earlier on, we look at what is written in the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 31. We look at it from verse 31 to 34. The promise of what is to come and how the sins and the iniquities will be forgiven and they will be remembered no more. Why? Because of the high priest that is to come. And our Lord Jesus Christ came to fulfill this which is the new covenant. What is stated is about the old covenant and the promise to be fulfilled in the new covenant. As we are told in the book of Hebrews chapter 10, let's look at this together. And I pray as you are listening, I want to plead with you, look beyond denominational teaching. Look beyond what you have heard from your leader. Because this is where a lot of confusion set in. People end up defending what their leaders told them or what their denomination has taught them. Not about what Christ says, about what the Bible says. In fact, when they are about to be convinced, they will say, our geo cannot be wrong. Our GS cannot be wrong. Our Papa cannot be wrong. Our Bishop cannot be wrong. In fact, our Apostle cannot be wrong. That is what has been holding people back. But tonight, the Lord will open your eyes for you to see Christ, not any leader. What God is saying concerning your situation. For you to be delivered. You know, because a lot of people are living in this bondage. Because they are ever there. They don't get solution. They don't get answer to their prayers. What they do is they go into diabolical means. Some have idols in their houses. Some are worshipping idols. Some go to shrine. And they still come back to church to dance. They think God in the church does not answer prayer. No. It's because we pray amiss. It's because we are asking wrongly. It's because your faith has been locked up by the confusion we have in the society. But tonight, the Lord is saying, I'm ready to take you out of that bondage. I'm ready for you to be delivered permanently and for you to be delivered, never to go back into that bondage again in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's look at this together in the book of Hebrew chapter 10. You can go ahead, please. Verse 11. And every priest stands ministering daily and offering repeatedly the same sacrifice, which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down at the right hand of God from that time waiting till his enemies are made his footstool. Thank you. Just pause a little. Here we are told in that verse 11 
that every priest stand ministering daily and offering repeatedly the same sacrifice which can never take away sins. This refers to the role of the priest before Christ, that they will be out there offering sacrifice for people and what they do with the sacrifice of the lamb they offer it will atone the sin of people people always say god is too holy to behold iniquity they are right and because of this consciousness they have to cover the sins of people with the blood of the lamb the sacrifice they make daily that's why that verse 11 says that cannot take away sins it will only cover it it will only atone it, it doesn't have power for remission of sins and that's why the apostle, uh, that's why John the Baptist said, when our Lord Jesus Christ came coming approaching, he said, Behold the Lamb of God that has come to take away the sins of the old world. The prophecy was fulfilled in our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God that is coming to take away the sins permanently. Not what the high priest used to do, that they just covered the sin, they only atoned the sin without taking it off. But when Christ came, Christ means he that takes away the sins permanently and remove every curse that has to do with the sins, that has to do with the law. So my brother, my sister out there, which side are you to believe what Christ comes to do or denominational condemnation? You can continue, please. Verse 14. For by one offering he has perfected forever those who are being sanctified. But the Holy Spirit also witnesses to us. For after he had said before, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds I will write them. Then he adds, Their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. Thank you. God says their sins... And your iniquity i will not take cognizance of any longer in that verse 14 it says for by one offering he has perfected forever those that have been set apart those that have been sanctified my dear brothers my dear sisters out there when god looks down and you are kneeling down you are standing up you are saying father you love me i'm your child i need this from you i want to have my own baby i want my business to succeed this case that i have father i know you have forgiven me you will grant me favor i'm going to come out of this incarceration i'm going to come out of this and you are praying with that clear mind consciousness that christ had paid the price for you you are touching that part of your body this sickness father you say is not unto death I'm coming out of this. I'm healed in Jesus' name because Christ has paid the price. That really is what God expects you to say. But if you listen to any of the so-called teaching that people bring in and they condemn you the more, you know what it does? It will tie whatever you have as faith and choke it out of you with the consciousness that you are unworthy. But from that place we have read in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 from verse 11, depending on the kind of Bible you are reading, that star that is asterisk by the left is in both, both print, which shows the promise has been fulfilled, the prophecy has been fulfilled in Christ Jesus. What is written in the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 from verse 31 to 34 has been fulfilled in our Lord Jesus Christ. Now you can go ahead, verse 18 and verse 19. Now where there is remission of these, there is no longer an offering for sin. Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh. Verse 21. And having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Thank you. So my dear brothers, my dear sister out there, whatever situation you may be going through, and somebody is making you to realize that, ah, unless you come to this place for a special deliverance, you won't come out of it. Tonight, you are delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. I say tonight, you are delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. When whether you're on the road, whether you're in your room, or wherever you are listening to this message, I congratulate you. For tonight, the Lord is taking you out of that bondage in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's read this verse, and then we'll go to the Lord in prayer. Whatever area they have buried something concerning you. They have gone to the forest, and they got some things they put together. And say, if you throw it away, this is what happened to the business. It's lost completely. This is what happened to the brain. That child will not be able to get himself back. The brain is completely lost. The reasoning is completely gone. Oh, I about him. When he gets to the office, he will 
continue to make mistakes, you continue to do this tonight. Everything is neutralized in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. No curse can hinder you from being successful. Let's look at this in the book of Galatians chapter 3. There you will see what Christ did for us. He redeemed us from every curse of the law and because he earned the tree. And he said we are connected to the Abrahamic blessing through our Lord Jesus Christ that we may receive the promise of spirit through faith. Let's look at this together. Verse 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, Cause is everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus. Thank you. Here we are told about the blessing of Abraham that is coming upon us in Christ Jesus. Whatever area, somebody had said, yes, this is what I'm going to do against them. This is what I'm going to do against you. The Lord is saying tonight they are neutralized in Jesus' name. Amen. There, somebody out there, you have been sleeping with that fear every day because of somebody that boasted and said, I will show you. And because of that, somebody said, you have to go and do something. Tonight, you are delivered. Wherever they are taking your name to, wherever they are made up their mind to go into the bush to do something against you, first of all, the deliverance has to come in you. That look, no weapon formed against me shall prosper because Christ has taken care of that. Now, with that sense of condemnation being removed from you, it is not left for God to do his part. God is saying, I'm there for you. He says, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now you connect to it, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him, I will put my trust. The Lord is saying, put your trust in me. And as you are doing this, in the name of Jesus Christ, that individual out there, you have been having sleepless nights. You don't know what to do because of that boast of that individual. Right now, I release the host of heaven to confront them and destroy those things in Jesus' name. Amen. That U-shaped object that was taken and they have taken it to the bush and they are nailing it to a tree. And because they are nailing it to the tree, they have been instructed to drive it inside so that the part of the tree will grow and cover it for it to be concealed completely. Tonight, the host of heaven are pulling it out, destroying it and completely taken away from them, you are free in Jesus' name. Amen. That individual, you are there, they have taken what they have rolled together, banded in thread, and thrown into the river, for the river to continue to go, and they will tell you, oh, the location, oh, you they said, because the river is ever going, it can never come back. In Jesus' name, I reverse the flow of the river, and that thing they think they have used to bound you, I return it back to shore against them in Jesus' name. Amen. Unless they are ready to repent, the host of heaven is raising a standard against them, for them to come and apologize and beg you in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I thank Lord for that individual. That individual out there, they said the child is going to become mad, a lunatic. He's going to lose control of his senses in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I restore normalcy into that child. Amen. Your child is normalized. Everything about that child is okay from this moment in Jesus' name. Amen. That individual out there, they gave you what your bad people refer to as Agbanon. That you'll be making mistakes with your expenses. you even lose your sense of reasoning for you to appropriate things to appropriate fund and for you to be able to do proper accounting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I restore no mercy into your thinking. Amen. Every mistake is removed completely and every mistake is turned around to be in your favor in Jesus' name. Amen. Why? Because Christ paid the price. It became a curse for us, for you and I to continue to operate under the fullness of his blessing and his protection in Jesus' name. Father, I give you all the glory and adoration for in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Remember what he says in the book of Psalm 91. He says, you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lay waste at noonday. Here the Bible confirms that some people will say, ah, are you Leo? <laughs> Those people in the night, that's why I do night VG every time, so that I will be awake. God is saying, even during the day, they are operating. But God is saying, you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor of the destruction that lay waste at noonday. Why? Because Christ says, you are blessed, you can never be cursed. Tonight, every curse concerning you is reversed and paid for in Christ Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you, Lord, for your children. I give you all the glory and adoration. For in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. My dear brother, my dear sister out there, God loves you. He cares for you. I want to plead with you. If you are yet to give your life to our Lord Jesus Christ, tonight is there. He's right there with you. 
Just make up your mind. Go to any Bible believing church around you, and great will be your testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Our fellowship, our church service holds every 9 a.m. at Lekki, that's VGC, Lori Hotel, that's Praise Arena. Our service is from 9 a.m. to 9 45 for our business and entrepreneurial service. And from 10 a.m. to 11 15 is the main service. So we encourage you to be part of our service and great to be your testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. And Jume Adeto Yeshe or Lagunju always be part of this program every Sunday evening and tell others to join you. You can link us through our website, praisearena.org, or through our producer, Taiwo Omoshule, Eko 89.7 FM. Lati Jacon de Road, Agdigbi, Ikeja. Our email address is kingdomlifefamily at yahoo.com. You can also call us on our telephone line 0909-328-9075. 0909-328-9075. So now Joseph has been a sound engineer on this program. Remain blessed. Thank you very much, my dear listener out there. I want to plead with you. Let others see Christ in you. Christianity is a way of life, not just a religion. And please obey the law enforcement agent. When you are driving on the road, use your seatbelt. It could save your life. And for the Okada rider, always wear your crash helmet. It saves life. God loves you. He cares for you. Obedience to the law of the land is obedience to the word of God. Remain blessed. <laughs> Please join us at our entrepreneurial service from 9 to 9.45 every Sunday morning to gain better understanding of kingdom principle for success and connect to divine inspiration for greatness in every area of your life. Venue, Praise Arena, Kingdom Large Christian Center, The Real Hotel, VGC, Lekki, Lagos. As a covenant child, you are destined to succeed. Thank you for being a part of our broadcast. You can visit our website www.praisearena.org to listen to this message and many more. We are believing God for your blessings and for you to partner with us for continuity of this program with other outreaches we are involved in. You can write checks in favor of Kingdom Light Christian Center. Please visit our website for our bank account details for online donation. Thank you for your financial support. Thanks for making a difference in the world today. Righteousness, peace, and joy. Righteousness, peace, war, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Everybody sing. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Oh, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part? Oh, don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Come on, come on everybody, don't you wanna be a part? Oh, don't you wanna be a part?